Let's look at a reaction with iron oxide that produces molten iron. So which of the following, carbon, iron, or aluminum, should I react with iron oxide? And I'll give you a hint, it'll be an exchange reaction. The metals will exchange the oxygen to form molten iron. Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, carbon is the most stable, so it will react most energetically with iron oxide. Or B, iron must be present to form molten iron. Or C, aluminum forms the most stable oxide, so the exchange with iron will release the most energy. Think about those three and make a selection. We're talking about iron oxide reacting with carbon, iron, or aluminum to form molten iron metal, and another oxide in this case. Well, let's look at the possible oxides of carbon, iron, and aluminum with respect to the elements in their standard states. So I'll put the elements, carbon, iron, aluminum, and oxygen, in their standard states at an arbitrary point on my en enthalpy scale, and I'll call that the zero point in enthalpy. And iron oxide, if I look at my table, forms from the elements and releases 824 kilojoules. So this enthalpy change is 824 kilojoules. Now, what about the formation of carbon dioxide? I can form carbon dioxide from the elements in their standard states and find that enthalpy of formation on my table. Carbon dioxide formed from the elements in their standard state a release of 394 kilojoules. Now, aluminum oxide, I'm going to form that from the elements in their standard states. I have to form a, find aluminum oxide on a table of standard enthalpies of formation. So let's look at that. Here's aluminum oxide on our table relative to the elements in their standard states. The formation of a mole of aluminum oxide releases 1,676 kilojoules. So now what I have is an ordering of all three oxides with respect to the elements in their standard states on an enthalpic scale. So if I convert between one and another, I can tell what the relative enthalpy change would be. So going from iron oxide reacting with aluminum to form aluminum oxide and iron metal will release 852 kilojoules. That's a tremendous amount of energy, enough to melt the iron metal that's produced and form molten iron. So the correct answer here, aluminum to form aluminum oxide.